Hello everyone, I am Jason Ravi, the voice of Cinema and Sanity, and welcome to Summary of Cinema. Friends, today we will review the Fast X movie. This is the 10th installment of Fast and Furious, and overall it is the 11th film in the franchise. This film is directed by Louis Leterrier. He has previously directed Transporter, The Incredible Hulk, Clash of Titans and Now You See Me. In this film, you will see big stars like Vin Diesel, Brie Larson, Jason Momoa, Michelle Rodriguez and Charlize Theron back in their roles in the film. But before proceeding, please support us by pressing the subscribe button below, so that we can continue to make such interesting reviews for you. So the story is basically very simple. In Fast and Furious 5, when Dom and Brian are stealing a vault full of fortunes from drug lord Hernan Hayes, Hernan's son Dante tries to stop them, and gets injured in that accident. But in this part, he has come to take revenge on his father from Dom. He has only one purpose, to torture Dom, his family, and his team to death. To see how Dominic will face this problem, you will have to watch the film in the theater. If you've seen the aftermath of this franchise after Fast and Furious 5, you'll know that you don't need a brain to watch this movie, because anything happens anywhere in this franchise. But still, it has to be said that this part is quite grounded, because in the last part their car reached space, while in this part, their car just pulls two helicopters on its own, nothing else. You can say it was way more realistic than the last film. Talking about the characters, they are no less than the ones from the Indian Daily Soap. Hans was dead, he came back, Letty was dead, she came back, and now even Giselle is back. In this part, the remaining team of Dom, Tej, Roman, Ramsey and Han who were on the plane, were taken down by the missile. But we know, in the next part, they will be perfectly fine and alive, just like Giselle and Letty. If there is anything positive to say about this film, then it will be Jason Momoa's acting. His character is dumb, freaky and insane. He is killing his father's killers. There is only one character in this film that felt refreshing. Everyone else's acting and characters are absolutely flat. Movie ends abruptly in the end. Two more parts will come to end this trilogy. Let's see if they will keep showing such nonsense or come up with something unique. Overall, you should watch this film only if you enjoy brainless flicks. Otherwise, do not watch it. So well friends, this was the review of Fast X movie for you. Tell me how you felt in the comments. If if you've liked, subscribed and press the notification bell, then God bless you, and if you haven't, then please press it, support us and anchor our efforts. Please share the review with fans of Fast and Furious. For now, thank you.